How can stucco siding companies, Bordner specifically is who we're talking with, um, effectively address potential problems or drawbacks associated with their services in a transparent manner? And this would go back to what we were talking about earlier with the roofing um, and some of the the kickouts or yep. the flashings that mm -hmm. are required. So anytime you have a roof that meets the side of a house, yep. you're going to need some type of step flashing, obviously. And we see it quite a bit where the stucco is literally sitting on top of the shingle. Oh, wow. So when you're ripping off that shingle, it's going to damage the stucco. Yeah. So you really need anywhere from like a two, two and a half inch uh, gap mm -hmm. where the stucco starts. So that way, if there is any damage to the roof itself, it's a separate facet mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to incongruent with. Yeah. Uh, so we see that a lot. We see um, companies not flashing mm. at the at, at the corner towards you know again where you have the the roof meets the side of the house. You always have gutters. Yeah. That run along there. Mm -hmm. There's a little piece of flashing that probably costs three bucks and maybe five <laughs> minutes to install. Yeah. And these companies aren't doing it because it takes a little bit wow. more time or sure. a little bit more effort. And that's where you're getting the damage from the water that's going in between the gutter and the stucco itself, sure. causing yeah. that damage in behind the stucco. Yeah, I was at a customer's house uh, last week, and they literally have a hole right there where that spot is that oh they didn't goodness. know about because they don't get up. You know, They were now yeah, right. elderly, so they're not going to get up on a ladder right. and look for that Yeah, because somebody didn't want to spend $3 on a piece of flashing yeah. and... 10 minutes to do it. <laughs> sure.